All right, let me actually pull the game up proper. Hopefully, the game's audio is all right. We won't really be able to know until a little after the game's properly opened. But uh, yeah, today we are playing the Super Nintendo port of Dragon Quest I, which is one that I haven't actually spent a lot of time with. Yeah, this version has uh, one and two built in, which makes sense because they're both relatively short games. Dragon Quest 1 is probably the shortest RPG I've ever played. <laughs> I very just casually beat it, like, a month ago. I just decided I'd sit down and play it for, like, two days. And, uh, yeah, I created a test file, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. Oh, they call it an Imperial Scroll in this one? That's weird. Okay. I guess they went by the uh, NES translation rules in this one. Yeah, this is a fan translation, if you guys couldn't already tell. And yeah, we could go with the fastest message speed, but when I play these games, I kind of like three. Three feels the most comfortable for me. Descendant of the legendary warrior, Roto, or Erdrick as he's known in the English games, but I think the fan translation games went with the uh, pure Japanese naming schemes, so it's going to be a little weird to get used to. We've been awaiting your arrival. Long ago, the legendary warrior Roto was given the ball of light by the gods. With its powers, he defeated the demons that had covered this world. An evil king dragon appeared, Prozidi's character. He stole the ball of light and sealed, away, sealed it away in darkness. Before long, this world may be totally enveloped and destroyed by this darkness. Please defeat King Dragon and return the Ball of Light by any means possible. You know what? I should have named my character Archibald to go with the Pro-ZD theming. That would have been way more fitting. <laughs> if you open the treasure chests over there, the contents should aid you in your journey. And if you speak to the soldiers in the room, they will give you a tutorial, basically. So, let's see. Okay, so this does have the quality of life changes that the future games had. You still do have to search. Oh wait, I might be able to press triangle. Whoops, yeah. Yeah, triangle works, okay. So if you haven't seen Dragon Quest 1, uh, this game actually requires the use of torches for dungeons, and when we get to a dungeon, you'll see what I mean. Like, the original Dragon Quest was kind of meant to play, like, Dungeons and Dragons, so... Uh, you have low visibility in dungeons, <laughs> so you have to bring your own torches. Do you know about Princess Laura, whose name is Gwaylin in every other translation? Go forth and rescue Princess Laura, or... It's gonna be weird to... Pain. Yep. <laughs> the only beloved daughter of the king. So when the queen passed away, Princess Gwaylin helped support the king's broken heart. Oh, wait. Everyone has dark vision. As a DM, mm, you just... You just triggered my fight-or-flight response right there. <laughs> okay, so I guess they did go with Princess Gwaylin here. It's just... I don't remember... Laura being a name in this game. And half a year ago, the princess was kidnapped by demons. The king does never speak of that, but I know he is suffering from the depths of his heart. Please go forth and rescue Princess Laura. Wait, wait. So there's a Laura and a Gwaylin? <laughs> I play elves. That's fair. When you leave the castle, you'll see a town in the vicinity. You can purchase weapons and armor there. If you are wounded in battle, return to the town and stay at the inn so your wounds will heal. When you open the treasure chest, you should find the magic key. The key will disappear after you use it once. It's like Zelda rules, so you can only open one door with each of those keys. Your journey will now begin. Okay, so we do have to select the door command in this game. 
Although, honestly, I could have probably just pressed triangle and have been fine. The record of your journey can be written in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. When you return from a break, it can be resumed where you left off. If you ever want to rest from your travels, come back. The king will record your journey for you in the Imperial Scrolls of Honor. So they're basically saying, hey, talk to the king and he'll save the game. By the way, in this game, the king is the sole save point. There are no other save points in this game. You can only talk to him. This is... that's not its name <laughs> in every other translation. Many people would gather here since this place was a paradise. Man, at this rate, I should have just played the NES version. What the crap? <laughs> oh well, whatever. This is the one version of the game that I haven't really played much of. Okay, see so yeah, monsters are coming about and stuff. No, she's not dead. Although, rescuing the princess in this game is actually completely optional. You can go the entire game without rescuing her. It's not at all required. Hey, a medical herb already. Nice. Yep, and that's what I was just talking about earlier. When you enter a cave, it's good to have a torch, because caves are filled with the powers of the darkness. And there are more monsters in caves than out in the countryside. Also a good note, although the first cave we enter doesn't actually have any monsters, so that's an interesting point of note. So this guy, I'm not going to talk to him yet, but he restores your MP to full, which is a little strange. Like... It's just MP. He doesn't recover HP. So, yeah, that's a thing. Hang on, I want to test the door thing. If I go up to this with the triangle, okay, yeah, so a triangle would have worked. I'm a traveling merchant. Many of my colleagues were killed by minions of the King Dragon. Because of this, I've collected mortifying and sorrowful memories of these of those times. Did you hear? No, because you didn't specify Jack. Rumor has it that there is a town that was destroyed by the demons. And that there is. We will eventually find that, because that is an important step on our journey. To gain experience and levels, you must fight monsters. When you do that, you may rise to the next level and you'll become stronger. I need to stop just bumping into walls, man. <laughs> My girlfriend and I will be together until the day we die. But will the day come that my feelings will be shattered by demons? And it's more likely than you think. When I am together with my boyfriend, I forget about the darkness that continues to blanket our world. However, that is a lie. The world is destroyed. He says that our love will be too. So, an interesting point I've noticed. This translation doesn't use the Elizabethan script that all the other versions of this game use. All right, we'll see you soon, Brendo. Magic key is necessary to open this door. Also, I heard that the magic key will break after just one use. Ooh, nice. Working on a story can always be fun. I actually just recently, all more personally. I mean, hey, that's often what drives the best stories, if you ask me. I actually only just recently kind of got my spark for writing back. Ooh, nice, I like that. I'm kind of writing two books at once right now. I'm writing one book by hand, uh, just for the heck of it, because that's how I used to write books when I was a kid. And then I'm writing one book, you know, the normal way. And yeah, they're both interesting. I don't know where either of them will go, but yeah. The one I'm writing by hand was vaguely inspired by Xenoblade 2. And when I mean vaguely, I mean vaguely. Like, I originally thought of the beginning of Xenoblade 2 and how I liked the idea of, like, the main character kind of having a gigantic companion creature that he also rides. And that's about as far as the inspiration goes. <laughs> the rest of the story just kind of went on its own route. Did they both say this? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's pointless. 
So I don't think we have any gold right now. Oh, and we've 120. Wait, did I get gold from the throne room? I think so. Yeah, no, it's not called Ratatome, my friend. You are naming the wrong town. Uh, I don't think I need to get weapons yet. Oh, wait. Do I not have anything? Oh, yeah, I've got nothing. Okay, so we do need to get, like, the bare minimum of equipment. So we're going to start with a bamboo pole. Okay, now, yeah, this is a quality of life change that the original game didn't have. In every other version of the game, aside from the NES version, not only does it tell you how much your stats will go up based on what you get, but it does also tell you, hey, uh, would you like to equip it right away? <laughs> Which is good. And next we will get plain clothes, just like I said, the bare minimum of defense. And we do have enough gold for the leather shield. I will go ahead and get that, just so that way we have a decent amount of defense, even though we will have no more gold for anything else, but whatever. Okay. So this is one thing that bothers me about the classic Dragon Quest games. You have a limited inventory space, but your equipment takes up inventory slots. So... Yeah, real great game design. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense from a logical standpoint. Like, especially if this is meant to sort of feel like Dungeons & Dragons. It makes sense for inventory or for equipment to take up inventory slots. But still, from like a video game standpoint, that is kind of an outdated idea. Many brave young souls have set out from... Aliahan, I'm going to call this town its correct name, on their travels only to perish. Unless Ratatome is what it's called in Japan, in which case Ratatome would be the correct name. <laughs> I just know it as Aliahan, because that's what it's called in every other translation. But for you, I wish the best of luck. I mean, just like how we know the hero to be Erdrick, but in Japan he's known as Loto or Roto. That's fascinating. I don't think I've ever heard of uh, Quotev. That does sound interesting, though. I like that idea. <laughs> that does sound really cool. And I believe she's like our vault, yeah. Okay, we don't need the vault right now. Take care when walking in the poisonous swamps. You will lose life and become weaker with each step. Watch out for the gloom, it will sap your life away until you can no longer heal yourself. Chimera Wing! So that lets us come back to town whenever we need it, except when we're in a dungeon. So, yeah, you, you can use it unless you're in a dire search. Uh, I, I, I tried combining the words circumstance and situation and said situation. Ooh, okay. That is an interesting concept. I like that. I am a traveling merchant from the town of Garai, which is far to the north of this town, which I believe is uh, Gallenholm in all the other translations. It's a small town on the northwest peninsula. With every move I made, I was swarmed asunder by horrible monsters. It has been a miraculous and depressing struggle just to live. God, if that isn't just the truth of life right there. This town to travel, be wary of bridges. Terrible monsters are waiting to strike unprepared travelers. Heck yeah! You freaking send the link to me, man. I'll totally read it. I've been wanting to just get into more reading in general anyway, so I'll totally freaking read your story, dude. Did you know? Yeah, I just gotta stop asking me these questions when I don't even know what you're talking about. 
It seems there's a town somewhere that sells magic keys. Oh. Well, that's pretty fascinating. Anything in your pot, good sir? No. He doesn't have the good shit. The legendary minstrel, Galen, which is what the town is named after, played a silver harp I heard it was buried with him inside his grave. I guess, you know what, just to kind of save myself time and trouble, I might as well just call these town names by what they're called in this translation, <laughs> because otherwise I'll be here all day trying to connect the dots in my head of like what is supposed to be what. Are you a descendant of Roto? Do you have any proof? Yes, my blood. No, you don't have the symbol. Only true descendants of Roto bear proof. And we'll have that proof someday. No, I'm not Princess Laura, but hey, you're one handsome stud. I'm not letting you out of my sight. And she will stalk us till the end of time. <laughs> Man, I get that. It's all good, though. Sometimes, like, that's what happens when you use a specific software program to write. Sometimes it just doesn't really allow you the freedom for paragraph spacing and such. Welcome, this is an item shop. Please come inside. And I would, but I have no money. Because I spent it all on gambling. South of Ratatome Castle, on the other side of the sea, you will see another castle that is enshrouded by a thick fog. That is King Dragon's Castle. It's unimaginably frightful. And I think I've talked to everyone in town. Everyone that we can talk to anyway because there's a door over there that we can't unlock yet. Oh wait, no. There's a guard over here. I think this dude's dying. Whoever is there, please inform the king of our situation. The rescue party for Princess Laura was wiped out. For long, I will succumb to the same fate. And he's dead. Okay, so that crazy lady doesn't stalk us forever. She only stalks us while we're in town. So, something of note that I didn't really know about these games until I read a strategy guide. The encounter rate in forests and these uh, foothills are actually higher than they are just on the grass. I never knew that, but like a strategy guide said, Hey, be wary of those areas, you'll encounter more monsters if you go in those. And now, this is what the journey truly looks like. <laughs> it's just walking back and forth, trying to get strong enough to get gold, and also to progress. Because this game can be quite difficult. Emphasis on can be, because <laughs> when I played the Switch version, I went the full, like, nine yards, and I went to the max level of 30, which is only in the Switch version. And I managed to beat the final boss like he was a freaking slime. But I'm pretty sure in this version of the game, the max is 20, maybe, so I might not have that leeway. I'm not going to do as much grinding here as I would on a personal playthrough, but we still will likely do a fair amount. I think the Super Nintendo version does make it a little more efficient. Yeah, see, look at that, we're already level two. It normally takes a little longer in uh, the NES version. So let's see what we got. So strength went up by two, maximum hit points increased by seven, and we found two gold. Uh, controller, you okay? Ever since last night, my controller's been giving me grief on my computer. Okay, we've got 14 gold, so that's not enough to, like, buy anything, but that's okay. One thing I will say that I like about this version over the NES version is the music. This version of uh, the Tantagel music, or Leon, I'm mixing the two names up. 
one of them is the name of the castle, one of them is the name of the continent. I believe Tantagel is the name of the continent. But this theme is uh, universal across every Dragon Quest game that this song is in. But the NES version is significantly shorter and doesn't sound as fancy. I, I just saw your message about being stuck. I don't know if you just sent that or what, but like a, because I have my game maximized, I can't see the chat on my computer, so I'm using my phone to look at chat. And I just saw your message, and oh boy, I know that exact struggle. Figuring out the bridge between the beginning of your story. Okay, just sent. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't like miss that, because I scrolled at the same time as you sent that, so I was like, oh, did I miss a whole message? <laughs> but. I completely understand that struggle of not exactly knowing the bridge between the beginning of the story and where you want it to, or where you already know you want it to go. That's definitely something that's troubled me a lot when writing in general. sip of coffee because coffee is my bloodstream so we can always talk to the king to see how much xp we need to level up but eh, i don't feel like it i kind of like when it's a mystery because that way when you do get a level up it's like oh I didn't realize I was that close, or, you know, oh my god, why is this taking so long? <laughs> I don't know why, but I just like that part of these games. Every time I hear this overworld theme, I can only think of the Parental Floss song. Because it's just so ingrained in my brain. How much gold are we at? 32. Okay. So I want to grind until I have enough gold to at least get our second tier of equipment. Wow, this is a tech speed of 3? Jesus Christ, I can't even imagine what the max speed is like. Tech speed of 3 is so much lower in every other game. It's so much slower, I guess is what I should say. Also, why is it only noon and it's already getting warm outside? That sucks. Oh well. I have like a little mini portable air conditioner, so if you hear anything later on in the stream, that's what it is. <laughs> I just don't use it unless I really need it, because it requires the use of water, and yeah, I don't like to use up too much water too frequently. So let's see what we get for level 3. Strength increased by 2, speed increased by 2, vitality increased by 1, which I believe is our defense. Hit points increased by 2, MP increased by 4. Did we get blaze? Oh wait, no, we get, we get heal first? Huh. I'm so used to Dragon Quest IV. The first spell that the hero in Dragon Quest IV gets is, uh, Frizz, or in these older, or as it's known in these older games, it's called Blaze. <laughs> that is difficult. Like, in cases like that, like, if the story is in the first person, because I've done something like that uh, with a story of mine. It wasn't necessarily in first person, but it was an ability that a character used that they didn't actually notice they used. They didn't notice the ability itself, they just noticed the effects of the ability. So like, they just knew that something happened and then it caused like A, B, or C to happen. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I think we should be safe once we hit level 4. But like I said, I also mostly want to grind for gold, because equipment is very important. Hey, I mean, that works. Like, suddenly there's just a blank in the character's memory, and when, like, his consciousness comes to, he's like, oh, shit, <laughs> I didn't realize, like, what happened here. Man, I tried DMing last week. Uh, I wanted to finally get my campaign going again, but we only had two players available. Ooh, okay. That's actually a good idea, like maybe a scene change or something that describes what actually happened, kind of like outside the main character's perspective. But yeah, I tried uh, DMing again last week, and it's very... It doesn't work very well when you only have two players. <laughs> we only played for like an hour just because like you know, I wasn't feeling it. And I'm like, I don't want to do anything too cool unless we have the entire group. Okay, yeah, he was moving on his own there. That was the controller disconnecting and saving my last input. Why does this controller disconnect so frequently? Like, is it the cable or is it the port? Uh, I DM on Fridays at uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, yes, yeah, the controller keeps disconnecting. I wish I had like a... Oh wait, no, that wouldn't help. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wish I had like a, an on-screen thing that showed my inputs, but... Even then, that wouldn't help. The only thing that would help is having, like, my webcam on to show you guys that I'm not pressing a button and my character is moving by himself. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we've, we've had a small group in general. Like, one of our main players has been out for, like, a year. And then on top of that, uh, two more of our players ended up, uh, well, one of them uh, has school to deal with and the other is just super busy at work all the time. So there are only two players who are like, oh, come on. So there are two players, like only two players that are uh, available most of the time. And yeah, that's fair. I was streaming later in the day because of the fact that it was, uh, like, it did work for the most part for most of our group, but I guess it doesn't now, apparently. But yeah, we are trying to eventually get more people because now that, oh yeah, the controller disconnected again. Wow, that's very unfortunate.